Welcome to Conversations with Leaders. I am thrilled today to have Simon with us to share a little bit of his background. Simon, could you give us a brief introduction? Yes, yeah, so my name is Simon Noon. I'm the CIO of Sportsbet. I've uh, been at Sportsbet now for six years. Uh, prior to Sportsbet, I had spent about 13 years in banking, um, which was very different to the Sportsbet yep. world. And then prior to Sportsbet, uh, prior to uh, the banking world, I was in consulting and had a few startups um, in the early 2000s. So I've been in technology in the digital space for just over 20 years now. Great. Great. And so you drove a transformation journey and a move to cloud for your organization. Yeah. Can you share a little bit about that journey? Yeah, sure. Um, <clears throat> also, Sportsbet, you know, just a bit, bit, bit of background around Sportsbet. We're, right. we're a digital company, so we offer um, betting services to Australian, Australian customers um, online via websites and via our app experience. So we're very much digital natives. And that's, that's where we, we start. Um, However, we're not cloud natives. Um, so we've got two data centers today where we've been right. serving our customers that the content that they, they, they have to, to bet with us. So about three years ago, uh, we came up with a, a cloud strategy around moving, I had a vision around moving what we did in data centers to the cloud. And um, with that cloud strategy, we were able to articulate in business speak what it meant for the business to, to move from the data centers to the cloud. And there's probably four key elements there. <clears throat> One was around Think about innovation. How do we innovate? So for us, that means how do we you know, invent new products and how do we test those products with customers um, really rapidly? Uh, secondly, we thought about how do we create agility in our organisation so we can do things differently, we can do things fast, and we can automate things. So we're doing, so we're spending time on the right things rather than the wrong things. Then we thought about resilience. So as a part of you know, being an online business, having business critical workloads in the cloud, we knew that we need to have resilience in our platforms and our platforms. On a typical day, you know, a typical day is about 300 days a year, which is just yeah. normal, normal workloads. But there's about five days a year where that scales to 10x or 15x. So we needed the scale. We can appreciate that at Amazon. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, <laughs> you're you're uh, most recently with your, uh, your Amazon, Amazon day recently. So uh, then um, we think about, finally, we think about cost. So we didn't lead with costs. We led with innovation and agility, then think about resilience, then through to cost. And I think that, think that from an organisation point of view, allowed people to really realise that actually... Yes, cost is, is, a, is a good outcome because you know, right. paying as you go is helpful and having transparency of cost is great. And it really empowers our teams to understand where we're spending our money. But organisationally, we thought about how do we grow and how do we continue to grow? And it was all about the growth story and the investment story. That was really how we pitched the, the cloud strategy and the cloud transformation to, to our business. And it sounds like from the very beginning, you had the other C-suite involvement in this journey. Yeah. How did that come about? We spent time, like we time really articulating our vision. So we didn't start with cloud. What we started with was the sports bet strategy. What is the vision for sports bet? And right. sports bet's got a really strong strategy around we do want to be, be this year versus next year versus you know two or three years time. And underpinning that, um, I created a technology strategy which linked really nicely back to the sports bet strategy. And then under, underpinning this, this, the, the technology strategy was an element called the cloud strategy. And with our, within our, our, our technology strategy, there's four pillars. We've got our, our platform as our advantage. Yep. Uh, and within that, that pillar is cloud. Mm -hmm. um, it is our data platforms. It is our front-end platforms. It's our services platforms. So that's about how we create platforms for the future and make our platforms a part of our competitive advantage here at Sportsbet. Another pillar is around having brilliant customer experiences. So we think about how do we have fast experiences for our customers, which are easy and intuitive, and ultimately give them a personalised experience. So that was sort of the second pillar. Right. The third pillar then we thought about was yeah, how do we get stuff done? And that's sort of our language, how do we get stuff yep. done? It wasn't, you know, we could have gone for more corporate speak, but this is more sort of natural sports bit speak. And that's about, you know, agile and DevOps and creating an environment of learning and a culture of learning. And then finally, we had the, the fourth pillar, which was around the tools of the trade. So how do we give our, our staff, our people, the right tools to be effective in their role? So we had the sports bit strategy, we had the technology strategy, that underpinning that cloud strategy was, was one of the pillars within, uh, was one of the elements within the platform pillar of the cloud strategy, of, of the platform strategy. That's fantastic. Yeah. So if you sat down and had a coffee with your CEO, yeah. how do you think he or, or she he, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would describe the journey and the benefits of cloud in this transformation? Still pretty early. It's still yeah. really early. Um, and I, I'd say really early in the sense that we'll, we'll be 100% in the cloud by the end of this year. Oh, wow. But we've That's been pretty fast. Pretty fast, yeah. So it's, it's taken us from you know, inception through to you know, final completion, it'd be sort of two and a half, nearly three years. Yep. 
well, I'd say two years of heavy lifting. And during that time, I think um, Barney is, is, mm -hmm. is my boss. I think what Barney would say is that he would say that you've reshaped the organisation from a te you know, the technology organisation. Now, no, no longer are we uh, thinking about how many boxes we buy and how we, you know, we, 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 we put the, the wires in the boxes and make that available for our delivery teams. You've actually, you've empowered your teams to do things faster, smarter, more effectively. That, get, that then gets the end product to the customer in a more efficient way. That's wonderful. The, another key partner, at least I've found in, in my conversations with customers is the CFO yeah. and getting that funding model right. Can you share a little bit about your partnership with the CFO? Yeah, we've, we've been pretty lucky. Uh, it's again, being a digital native business, the yep. CFO, he's been on a journey when we started linking the sports bet strategy to the tech strategy to what's happening with the cloud. So he, he understood that early. Right. But one of the things we did across the organization, um, we realized that people change was, was fundamental. And um, as a part of that, we took all the executives through a two-day cloud uh, cloud course. Wow. Um, we, we sort of, we've now badged it the Cloud Academy. And the, the Cloud Academy has two streams, a non-technical stream and a technical stream. The non-technical stream is where we took the executives through to really understand the, the language of cloud. What does it mean to be in the cloud? Because right. when I first started talking about the cloud, I, I sort of could see in people's eyes, they thought about iCloud and those things. <laughs> it wasn't the cloud as, as we know it today with, with right. the Amazon experience. So. Um, spending time with the executives and, and with the CFO, Nathan, um, articulating what the cloud means. And for our non-technical folk, giving them the skills and experience to have the right conversations internally. So we went through HR, finance, operations, our marketing teams. Everyone got, got the opportunity to go through the non-technical stream of the Cloud Academy. And the Cloud Academy is still alive today. You know, three years later, we've still got the Cloud Academy going strong. It's more, more now oriented towards the technical skills be it architecture, security, design, um, and how we implement the cloud within Sportsbit. But it's still alive and well, and I think that was fundamentally getting people on the same page around you know, how, do we, how do we change our language and you know, how do we do this together? This is not you know, Simon versus anyone else. It's actually it's about alignment and doing things together as a team. Wow, Simon, thank you so much. What a wonderful story. Thank you for being here. No worries. Thank you.